Right everybody, we're back, uh, we're back at this Corsa, but what we've done, we've went and got, uh, it's one of Roddy's relatives, they've got exactly the same Corsa, so we're going to take good data off of that. So it's still the 1.4 engine, and it's the LDD we reckon, and it's got this fancy uh, PCV breather. So I thought the first thing we would do is just look at the data, now this one's running perfect with no fault codes. So you can see there, a row 2, this one's slightly different than the row 2's, the, the, the first row 2 is just a normal one, but see the second one, it's got a higher voltage, but that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Aye, so you can see our fuel trims, our fuel trims in this one are perfectly normal. So the thing that's sticking out to me here is, if we look a uh, couple of things, our injector duty cycle, we're at three, we're at, it's going mad this thing, we're at three milliseconds, our EVAP's at 10%, now that's what our other car was at as well, our engine speed's at 680 RPM, our MAF, now he's a biggie, hits at 1.7, we were only at 1.4 Roddy, the other one eh, so that's slightly higher, a good bit higher I would say, eh, uh, what else? Our map sensor's at 30 kilopascals. Uh, there's an intake manifold pressure. 60, oh, I never remember that, another one. Our barrow's at 100. Uh, map test, they were all okay, okay, okay. So I think that's all we need there, so we'll go back to the car. So we decided to do the test again to see how much uh, how the idle degrades when we pull the cap off, so you'll hear this. So it does, and you can see that our, our trims, they start to go positive, but you would because you've got, a, you've got a massive air leak, so we'll put that back in. And you can see the trims, trims are coming back down nicely. So what we're going to do is measure the vacuum in here and it should be between 1 and 3 psi so you can see that it hardly moves the gauge, pull that thing out already now put it back in again man so there you go just very slight I would think that'd be what one, one. two inches of mercury at maximum so that's spot on so Looking at our other car, I begin to question this chappy here. I think it is. You want to just switch off the new? No, no. Uh, so that that is the only thing I can see I miss because when we when we managed to get our our map sensor back to thirty kilopascals, which is a, a normal intake manifold, we were still showing low voltage on this map sensor. So theori theoretically. This was sealed at 30 odd degree, at 30 kPa, and that was still showing low. And my injector duration was low, but when we disconnected the MAF sensor, remember our injector duration came back up to 4, and the thing idled perfectly. So, I think this thing is suspect. So, we let the car go, we were, we, we said to the lady that uh, we couldn't get to the bottom, it's run it, see how she gets on. So, but when we did leave the car, the the long term was it Roddy? Yeah. It was running at 25%. Obviously this one's no, I don't know why it's diverted to that, reverted to that figure. So it was running at 22%. But the funny thing is, it was not bringing the mill light on. So there must be a strategy within the Vauxhall modules, indeed maybe other modules, that they can run them at 20 odd percent and not bring the mill light on via OBD. So that's something you know. So, uh, so we'll wait and see if it comes back, but definitely leaning towards this now because we done the spray test in this PCV valve and when we took this off the water still came spitting back out like we done on the other valve so it looks like we're calling time on a math sensor but as Roddy always tells me it's another school day another learning day so every day is a school day anyway well someone also told me on YouTube you can get these separate 
from German and Swedish, if you need them. Uh, but there you go. Anyway, cheers.